का जिक्र होता है उसमें कहानी बिना विलन के कंप्लीट तो होती नहीं और हीरो बिना विलन के तो होता ही नहीं तो उस बैलेंस को अगर आप अपने आप को अगर उस तरीके से तोड़ लें तो अनबैलेंस को बैलेंस करने के लिए वो बैलेंस का फैक्टर आप मांगते हैं तो एज एन एक्टर आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू मेक श्योर दैट आई केटर टू माई डायरेक्टर्स एंड माई ऑडियंस ऑफ यूर एज एन एक्ट एज ए परफॉर्मर उज नॉट शाई लाइक आई सेट ऑलियर ऑल्सो दैट आई एम नॉट शाई ऑफ प्लेइंग एंटैक्टनेस ऑफ प्रोटेक्टनेस सो and uh, i i kind of try and maintain a very human element to all the characters you know a little bit of a emotional connect with each of them they were nazar aa rahe hain jahan se bolya aapke left mein left side ki bahut sara action tha is film mein aur i think aapke liye pehli baar aisa dekhne ko aa raha hai to ye mushkil tha aur industry ka aisa kaun sa action star hai jisko aap kaafi pasand karte hain i एक मैं नहीं कह सकता कि कोई एक सारे पर सभी बहुत सारे अच्छे हीरोज हैं हमारी फिल्म इंडस्ट्री में बहुत अच्छा काम किया है सब ये पहली बार मुझे मौका मिला है टू एक्शन फिल्म मैं डायरेक्ट कर चुका हूँ डॉन में ऑफकोर्स लक्ष्य में तो कहीं एक जानकारी थी और एक नॉलेज था कि कैसे होता है सब कुछ क्या एफर्ट करना पड़ता है सारी टेक्निकलिटीज जो होती हैं और कौन से कैमरा एंगल अच्छे लगते हैं एक्शन क्योंकि दैट कैन बी मोर इफेक्टिव इस बार तो ये सारी जानकारी थी और आई हैड अ वंडरफुल टाइम टू डू एक्शन मतलब इसमें काफ़ी मतलब चेसेस हैं शूट आउट्स हैं हाथा भाई है तो बहुत भास पर निकली सालों की इस फिल्म में शूट करते वक्त तो आई आई हैड अ ग्रेट टाइम डूइंग इट एंड एंड दिस मेनी एक्शन स्टार्स वेरी सॉफ्ट फेड वेरी वन पर्सन आई हैव टू आई हैव टू टेल यू अ लिटिल जॉक व्हेन आई सॉ द फिल्म खत्म हो गया तो मुझे वो प्रभात कहते हैं हमारे पी के कि बहुत अच्छा एक्शन किया मैंने कहा हाँ बहुत अच्छा मैंने कुछ भाव नहीं दिया तो फिर वो मुझे कहता है सर फर्स्ट टाइम किया मैंने कहा नहीं यार फर्स्ट टाइम थोड़ा किया बहुत किया है सो देन ही मेड मी रियलाइज कि ये फरहान अख्तर की पहली एक्शन फिल्म है और मैं ओपनली इनको कॉम्प्लीमेंट देना चाहता हूँ कि जो मैंने देखा जो आपने ट्रेलर में देखा यकीन नहीं होता है कि ये इनकी फर्स्ट एक्शन फिल्म है बिल्कुल फ्रॉम बिगिनिंग टू एंड ऐसा लगता है कि एक्शन हीरो चाहे मुक्का मार रहा है या गन पकड़ रहा है या जो भी कर रहा है इमोशनल सीन तो खैर जो है सो है एक्शन यू हैव डन सो वेल फरहान दैट इट्स अनबिलीवेबल दैट दिस इज योर फर्स्ट एक्शन फिल्म सो थैंक यू सो मच परम विजय ओवर योर परम गेट स्लाइडली टू अचर लेफ्ट परम यू मेंशन डॉन अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स आर इगली वेटिंग डॉन कि व्हेन विल वी गेट टू सी यू डायरेक्टली अगेन आई आई ऑलवेज मेंटेन दैट आई एंजॉय दैट कैरेक्टर ट्रेमेंडसली I think he is a very, very exciting character to write for, uh, and I've had a tremendous time working with Sharu as that character. So hopefully something will come along, but I really don't have a plan. So if it happens, it will be the same star cast, right? Sharu and Priyanka. I don't know why we have to keep digging deeper and deeper. Can I tell you, I don't have a script. It's very difficult for me to tell you who will be in it. Um, Don will definitely be in it, no? because Don is. <laughs> but apart from that, I don't know. It will depend on what characters are in it. Uh, I was called after David. After uh, he had seen David, and he uh, called to meet me, and we met, and we both started working on one script first. He, and that script was kind of uh, uh, we worked on it for five or six months, and it didn't really pan out well. And I was actually going to his office to say, you know, thank you for the opportunity, sir, but maybe we'll work on something else together. Uh, and on the day that I went to say goodbye is when he just opened his literally he opened his vault, and there was this. bag of idea there was like some seven eight scripts lying there and he just gave me uh, all of them and told me to read them and asked me if, if there is something that uh, will that I will I'll like in it to direct and uh, from all the scripts though all of them were really good uh, the one i really liked was the fifth move that which which finally became wazir so that's how the the journey started i mean and he actually handed it over to me on a platter So and uh, from there on, it's been. A Since you are playing a cop in this film, also was that one of the reasons why you didn't want to repeat yourself? Yeah, yes, absolutely. Um, when I was doing Wazir, then Rais, Rais was actually supposed to happen at a very different time. Uh, but uh, since it got changed, then it happened to be the very next experience. It's not even about not wanting to play a, a, a police officer again. It's not wanting to do it immediately in my next experience as a film. So it would have been the next thing that I shot for. And I was a bit uncomfortable with that. I felt that, you know, some level of course, it completely different trajectories of what's happening in the film. But uh, you're more or less playing the same kind of character. Your foundation is the same. Uh, but I, I didn't want to repeat that. So which is why I felt I should opt out of that film. And uh, I mean, it's fantastic because we have Nawaz, 
Udin, who's playing that character, he's a fantastic actor, so we all look forward to it. Aditi, my question is from you. You're right. Who is this? Who is this? himself and Salim Saab, I think through the consistency of the work and the genius of the work, were able to break through and break, break these shackles. And he has done a lot to educate the public about this problem. So I, for the first time, I heard about Mr. Wazahat Mirza, who had uh, written Mother India and Mughal Azam from Javed Saab's uh, mouth. You know, and I, I felt ignorant that I didn't know this gentleman's name or uh, he had uh, the capacity to educate India that Mr. Anand Bakshi's songs are no less than the mightiest of the mighty poets. Uh, they have the same kind of literary merit, but just because he happens to write for cinema, he would not uh, get his due. So I think the problem exists, but I think the only solution is to, to go on creating uh, at, to the best of your ability and uh, that's the only thing that they have been able to prove that if you do it consistently enough, long enough, then people have to, they have no option but to notice the writer. Uh, Victoria, what was the thought process behind uh, casting John Abraham? 